Welcome to Art at Home with Miss Beth. Guess what? I'm not at home. I'm at work. And this is my second time making this video because I am so excited about it. No, really, I just messed the other one up. I had too much on my camera. This was what my original turned out to look like. This is what we're doing today. We're going to have some fun with some sand. So, I want you to know that we are celebrating um, Holy Week, Holy Festival. The um, It's about color. It's about spring. It's about love. And I did my live stream story times using my Holy Color book. And there was another story as well. Um, they're getting processed and put into the system now. But if you come to our lobby um, at the library, I have holy books. They're board books for free. Thanks to Cornerstones Career Learning Center and Royce Miller. Royce has been collaborating with me and we are able to give these wonderful books to families. The only thing he's wanting is to have the parent's name and also the ages of the kids that are going to be reading these books. And I've only had two families come by to pick up books. So there are a lot of my beautiful holy colors by Rena Singh um, that are in the lobby. So I decided, you know what, we were supposed to do this back in actual holy, which was March 9th. That entire week was when I was going to be going out to the preschools and my daycares and, and working with them and celebrating a different culture. However, COVID-19 COVID came along and kind of ruined that for me. But you know what? It's, this is celebration of spring. We still are in spring. So I'm going to, I've decided we're going to do this. We're going to do this anyway. This is a really fun project. We're going to be using sand. If you listened to my stories before, they, uh, the people, the Hindu people that celebrate this, um, they actually use like a colored powder. And a lot of times that colored powder, one of my books told me where they get it. Reds are from lotus flowers, the irises is where they, they get blue, they had to find their color in nature. They've got this powder and they throw the powder all over. I've got sand that's multicolored. And you're able to pick up a little container like this with sand. You're not going to throw it at each other. You're going to make some art with some beautiful colored sand. So. If you come into the live into the library lobby, you're able to get a piece of paper like this. This is our week three already into our summer reading program. You're able to sign up and grab a free book. You're gonna get a piece of cardstock like so. You're gonna grab some sand and a little container. I tried to keep it all separate, but they're gonna end up mixing. That's what happens. What you'll need if you want a pencil, you'll need a pencil. Liquid glue is better than Oh no, did it get, hang on, since I, I can still hear it. Um, liquid glue is going to be better than a glue stick because we want this sand to stick. We're not going to throw it at each other. We're going to throw it onto our paper. And the thing is, uh, they would color themselves with, like you can see in the picture here, she's coated in beautiful yellows and reds and they're mixing to make orange. You could draw yourself if you want. But I think what I like to do, I like this explosion of color down here. I don't really need a pencil. I could have my hands down below, which I think is what I was doing with the other. If you want to draw, you don't have to. We can take our glue. We're going to take glue and we're going to put it down on the paper. We're going to very carefully look at these cute little containers. This is baby food, little containers. Plastic. I want to thank Michael Suing and his mother for giving these um, to us. Oh, they hold things so nicely. But maybe later you could use it for something else when you're finished. Put some paint in there. They would hold paint really well, too. Maybe some lightning bugs. You can, oh, wait, you don't want to collect lightning bugs. That wouldn't be very nice. Unless you popped holes in the top so they have some room to breathe. But anyway, I shouldn't be telling you stuff like that. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take my glue. And I'm just going to put some down. And then I... It's kind of, I'm going to make a thin layer first and later I'll make a thicker layer. Take my brush. And you know, you can do this however you want. We could have done a, a mandala. A mandala is what um, monks used and they would use colored sand. 
and they would very carefully place the sand in a very quiet, meditative way. You know, I think I've probably told this story before, but um, quite a few years ago, we had monks stay at our house, and they were working on a mandala um, at the med school, I believe it was, um, on a university campus. And fortunately, we were really lucky to have, they slept on our floors, they made us dinner, they made tea, we, we prayed with the monks. They made this gorgeous, gorgeous mandala. And a mandala, you, it's just a circular pattern, which I'm not really doing a pattern right now. I guess I could if I wanted to. Um, I just kind of want an explosion of color. Um, and it's symmetrical, which means symmetry is when you have the same on one side as you do on the other. It's a balance. It's part of our language of art. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even um, use my, yeah, let me do this. I'm too busy yakking and I'm not, I'm not doing my spreading of my glue. Later, I want to make the glue a little thicker. But for now, we don't want to do that. So then we're going to add more. I'm just going to pinch. I'm going to pinch the glue. And just really think about the spring. I'm thinking about the flowers that are out right now. Do any of you have any gardens that are growing? My son and I have one. We've planted some zucchini. Woo, look at that blue and some other squashes. I've got cucumbers and there's tomatoes, spinach, I love spinach. Just little things about spring. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do another over here. Oh, and you know, if you have too much here, I've got my extra paper here. It's my COVID-19 memorandum from the city. Yay, I'm gonna use it for this. The wheat. It's going to collect extra sand that, guess what? I can use it again. So I'm going to take some more glue. Hmm, how do I want it to look? If it's symmetrical, it would be a line down here, and I'd need another one that kind of size over here. But I think I want it asymmetrical. And asymmetrical is still a balance, a visual balance, but it has. It wouldn't be the same if I divided it in half. A butterfly is symmetrical. But asymmetry is a different type of balance. You've got something really big here, and in order to balance it out visually, you'd have a little, some little small things on this end. This is just kind of talking composition. But you know what? Do you. Do what you think you want it to look like. So I've got so many colors. Oh, there's that light blue. It's so pretty. I think there's pinks and purples that I gave you in your containers. And if they get mixed up, so what? Totally fine. Because that's what's going to happen anyway. And look at that color. Color does get mixed up. Yes. The blues and the darks. And I need my my paper again, my memorandum to knock off some some extra sand. There we go. And you know, we've, um, I've done this before too with salt. So if you have glue and salt for an art project, which is pretty fun too, um, salt absorbs, sand does not. Sand is not absorbing it's just sticking to but salt just like when you eat salt it's kind of it'll fatten up you need salt in your diet you don't need too much salt in your diet though but now this is really thick I thought if I do thick I'm gonna have to add a lot more since it's not gonna absorb it it's actually gonna just sit on it I'm gonna just kind of move it around so, so I'm 
thinking about springtime. I'm thinking about the flowers and the colors that surround us during the spring. Lovely, lovely color. And that is what our festival is all about. New life, new color. And different, um, different people, different cultures will celebrate different things at similar times. So for um, some of us, if we celebrate Easter, Easter was it's a springtime celebration. And at that time, we are celebrating new life and the colors, spring, which is very similar to what our holy is. And it's nice to learn different things about other people. The same would be so boring, incredibly boring, if we were all the same. It's nice to know that we can have similarities too, though. Oh, look how pretty. This is a very big explosion of color. What do you guys think of that? I'm kind of doing a little more to time now. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to knock a lot of this off, but I kind of like the white, the white parts as well. Do this. And I, I realized that normally you would be doing this here at the library and I'm always really good about, I don't care if you make a mess because that's what art's about, but maybe somebody at home isn't is excited about making messes so just be really careful artist when you're working just make sure that you've got something underneath something that you're going to collect and here I'm, I'm dropping my brush on the table here i shouldn't be doing that i'll clean it up though it's just regular regular elmer's glue and it will come up easily so whatever mess i make i will clean up and I'm hoping that you guys do that too so you don't expect an adult at home to, to clean for you. Because it is your art. And it's important to clean up your own art. Who knows, you might have a bunch of extra sand that you could make more pictures with. And this, I might set it in the sun to dry a little. Kind of like that, just the way it is. That's beautiful. All my colors and they're mixing. Yeah, I'm gonna clean all that. There we are. I'm gonna quit for now. I am gonna let this dry. I could go back in with a pencil. I could go back in with a sharpie. I could go back in with the crayons if I wanted to. There's so much you could add to it. You could be finished with it. You could you could have drawn a picture of yourself and then made the colors all over your all over yourself. That would have worked as well too. But Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you to Royce Miller and Cornerstone's Career Learning Center for working with us. The collaborations are the best, and uh, we learn a little bit about holy and the wonderful colors of spring and the love that's part of holy as well. And enjoy your sand. I've got plenty more. I could make lots of more art with my sand. So. Uh, come up to the library. Don't forget, you're able to get a, a free book. So come up and get a free book, sign your name, sign the age of who's going to be enjoying that book, and it is yours to keep. So have a wonderful, holy, lovely spring. Goodbye, everybody.